Hey, how's it going, Spy here? Welcome to Void Train, a brand new crafting survival game similar to Raft, except we are on a train. Check this beauty out here. It's like a single cab train with a little pump jack. And supposedly there's some people trying to get into our door here and it says we have to go and lock the door. Oh, wait, the goose will get, wait, what? This is it. We now begin the plucking of the goose. Oh, uh, no, don't pluck the goose. Okay, we gotta lock the door here quick. Uh, wait, what? That's a pencil and paper. How are you gonna... Oh, <laughs> it's literally a lock. We gotta find the handle for the trolley to escape. Okay, we got it. Let's go up here. Let's put our handle on our train. Boom. All right. And now we gotta turn on the gate. Here we go. And the gate should be... Oh, it's literally a portal. Well, here we go on our train. See you, jerks, later. Switch the brake off. It looks like we're out. Anyways, thanks to the developers for sending me a key to this game. So far, it looks really beautiful. And wait, what is this? It's like some sort of flying fish. I guess that would be a bird, but we're in this weird dimension. So I'm not sure exactly what it is. And here we are. Check this out. We got a bunch of floating things, some weird noises, and it says, take the trolley off the brake. Boom. Oh, uh, wait. And so the journey into the in-between begins. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Forward, not backwards. Oh, goodness. Just use this transmission thingy. Th this thing right here? No, this is not good. At this rate, we'll never finish this story. Maybe we should hurry a little bit. Uh, so we gotta speed up the trolley with the trolley handle. Oh, like olden times. I expected no less from you. Full ahead. We're gaining some speed. I don't know how fast we could go with this. Well, if you're enjoying this game so far, we'd like to see more. Don't forget to smack that like button because I think in the future, we can expand this cart and add like some, I don't know, steam engines so we don't have to pump the handles. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It says collect resources. I should probably probably reverse and collect what I missed. Uh, we need some wood and we need some scrap metal. For what? Not too sure. Okay, well, I don't know what that is. That's ice. We got organics and here's some wood and it looks like there's something we missed over there. Wow. Okay, this is really cool. We're just kind of floating here. I didn't really realize until I jumped off that I was literally floating, but I guess everything else is, so it didn't really scare me. It's a little disorientating, but here we go. Grab that, that was scrap metal. Oh, look at this. We got some of those weird flying fish bird things. I'm gonna honk my horn at them. That's right, you jerks. Get out of here. What should we name those things? I'm gonna call them floaty fish creatures. Oh, scrap metal right here. That is our last piece. So let's hop down. Build a research table. Okay, I don't want to miss anything. Uh, crafting book, a research table. All right, I'm gonna put this right here. Research the technology of the smelter. Four more scrap metal. I think we got enough scrap metal, so let's slow this train down right here and let's research our new smelter. Okay, so does this use our resources for researching? Let's see. Yes. Boom. Bang. We're progressing pretty nicely here. I'm gonna put this bad boy there. It says to smelt ingots. Oh, of course, we need some more scrap, but you know what? We can fuel this up a little bit like that. On we go. This game is pretty awesome, but a little grindy. You need a lot of resources. I think this is multiplayer too, so if you had friends, you guys could just be jumping off back and forth, grabbing stuff. Bang. And I think we can smelt some stuff here now. We can make two of our ingots, which we need here. There it is. One smelted. I'm gonna stop the train because I'm sure I'm missing a lot of stuff. And two smelted. Okay, I think that was the end of the tutorial because it's not telling me what to do now. So we need to research all of these to get to the next phase. So there we go. Researching the chest. I'm gonna go forward now. We'll look for some more scrap. There's some up over here. And now that we researched that chest, we could go in here and we're now on phase two. So we can get a workbench, basic components, copper components. Oh man, we need a lot of resources. You guys are annoying. Get out of here. Iron's done. Now we go in here and we research our workbench. Oh, can't miss that. Grab it, grab it. There we go. Grab those. 
Boom. What does this do exactly? Oh, okay. We can make components in here. I'm not sure what we need components for yet. So let's go in here and let's see. So we need to smelt some more iron and we need to figure out how to smelt some copper ingots. Uh, oh, should be easy enough. So we got to make three of these. There we go. And we need to make three of the iron bars as well. Boom. And then we go over here and we research the copper components. And now we just got to wait for this. Can we use this wooden floor? thing here to expand our cart it doesn't look like it we might have to find the cart somewhere or build them further into the game i can't wait to get like steam trains or something eventually research basic components boom okay that's done and now we're on phase three which is lab oh wow this just keeps going all right we're gonna release the brake and we're gonna keep going forward i'm gonna keep collecting some resources whoa we're actually going through some type of like stone tube thingy what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Something just appeared right in front of me. It looks like some sort of giant building. Okay, I guess we're coming up to our first uh, event structure thing, whatever that is. I, I have no clue. There might be some enemies in there or something. I'm just going to keep gathering resources and not let that bother me because we're going to need a lot of these. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My inventory is actually full. Are you serious? Look at this. So I guess I can get started on the lab. I need some nuts. <laughs> and now we can go forward. I got rid of some stuff in my inventory. Uh, oh no, it's still full. Drop this, grab that, go over here and let's research the lab. Whoa, okay, we're coming up to this giant thing here. It has like chains going up from there to wherever. Is there like ground? There might be ground. I'm not sure how this works. There's just train tracks floating. I don't know if ground even matters. Okay, we got giant floaty ribbon things coming out of it now. I, I have no clue what's going on. This is crazy. Okay, you know what? Speed up. We're going right through that bad boy. Full speed. Oh, jeez. It opened right up. Where are we going? There's electricity. There's like, old Norse ruins everywhere. Um, I'm kind of freaked out. Don't electrocute me. Uh oh, whoa. We're going so fast. Where is it taking us? I, should I hop off? Oh. Looking around for some time now, our heroes are trying to understand where they are and who could possibly build such wonders. An idea occurs to our brave adventurers investigating the abandoned depot. So I guess it wants me to investigate. Is there anything I could take in here? Okay, so we go up and it doesn't look like we could take this stuff either uh oh we can move stuff around though i just kicked that chair guess we're going in oh all right this is kind of creepy we got some german lettering up there a weird little ticket booth crouch oh this is kind of scary oh where is it leading me hello turning your lamp off you're wasting power okay where are we Oh, there's a dead guy right there. Pick up a revolver, it says. Why are we taking this guy's revolver? Is there going to be enemies in here? Sorry, dude. We have to destroy the boards with our revolver. Okay, am I wasting ammo? No. It looks like we got infinite ammo. That's awesome. I'm going to shoot that thing instead. Nope. I'm going to release my brake and I'm going to go. Oh, jeez. That thing's so fast. And it looks like we now have hunger and thirst. We got to eat? What? Since when? Is this why we got this revolver? It might be. Uh, it's now dark. I'm kind of freaked out. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab some stuff while I'm here. I don't want to miss this. All right. My inventory is seriously too full. I'm going to have to build a chest, I think, to store some stuff. Brakes. Wait, what's that noise? I heard something. There's something right there. Hello? What are you? Uh, it's definitely an enemy. Got it. It's dead. Heh, <laughs> jerk. Okay, now I know why we have guns. But I'm gonna smelt some iron here so I can make a chest. All right, there we go. And let's grab our crafting book. Let's make us a container. Where am I putting this? We don't got a lot of crafting room left. Maybe just right next to this thing. And now we got a backwards container, I think. Yep. Wait, what? It only has three slots? Are you serious? All right, let's go forward. Well, now I can pick some stuff up at least. Uh, that monster did not drop a thing. And we're on our way once again. And it looks like I'm getting kind of hungry. We got some stuff to research here. I don't know how to get that material for the chemical components. But sooner or later, we should be able to expand our train 
But I'm actually going to leave this episode off here for now. But if you'd like to see more, let me know down below in the comments. And thanks for watching and subscribing. And remember, don't fall off your train. Stay sweet. Bye.